Okay, we're going to make a quick arch in 3ds Max. So go to Customize, Unit Setup. Make sure this display unit scale is in meters, and System Unit Setup in meters also. Okay, so we will select our arch, arc again, click and release. Okay, so W on the keyboard, and S again to take that off. Right click, compare to edit to build spline, click on the spline. And we're going to make a copy, mirror, and a copy. Just click mirror again. We're going to select this one here and move it out of the way for the moment. If we right click on here, make sure grid points and vertex is selected. So if I click on S again, actually I click on spline, yeah. Click and drag it over to that one. Okay, so now I'm just going to center that out again. So it's in the center of it. Now, what we need to do is S off. Okay, these two verts, two verts selected. We want to change, we want to fuse these together basically. So we click on fuse and weld to become one. Now we need to Add an extrude to that, and I'm going to extrude 100 meters. Okay, and center that again. Let's check that out. And get in the middle of the grid. Everything here is centered. Okay, now I need to right-click, convert to editable poly, and I'm going to. Angle snap and percentage snap. E on the keyboard, shift and rotate 90. That's okay. And we need to go to standard primitives, compound objects, pro boolean, move, intersection, and pick. And there we have the beginnings of our arch. So I'll take off realistic and click on shaded here. Now I need to right click again, convert it to an edible poly again, and select the verts. Oh, sorry, the edges. Should be fine. Okay, I was holding shift and just pulling them down. Now I'm going to come in here, Alt W, and click on the edge. And that will select all those ones there. And what I need to do is. Okay, let's see. We need to create a shape from the selection. And we'll call this arch. Now, and then go OK. And if I switch the view again, I'm going to create a star in this view here. So we go back to Shapes, Star, and press S just to snap it to the grid. Let's zoom in here. Star. I should be fine. And release it there. OK. So right click, convert to editable spline, I think, yeah. And we can click on the verts, the outside verts. I'm gonna smooth these so it's more rounded and smooth. There we go. So we'll come back in here. So we're gonna select the arch. I 
and there's our shape there so I'm just going to click that shape so we have to click on loft get shape and pick the shape that we want to use and there we have that okay so now what we need to do is E okay so we're going to make duplicates of this so hold shift and 90 degrees and we're going to make three copies and that's our arch so we switch view and we will create standard cylinder and S to line up the grid snap to the grid should be okay let's just go that and W And obviously you can shape this to whatever you feel like. Just making sure it all lines up. Yep, that's fine. So that's how you make a quick arch.